Good morning, everybody. Today is a day of celebration. We are celebrating. You see this red, white, and blue? We are celebrating America. And I have something. We have a big celebration coming up, and I'm going to tell you about it in just a minute. But July the 4th, 1776, was born one nation under God. You hear that? One nation under God. 244 years later, we need to be have this nation born again because it is sliding down the gutter. I was sitting there last night watching some stuff on TV and I thought there is no way this would have happened 244 years ago when we were formed as one nation under God. If you have seen the stuff that's happening on the news, if you have seen the crazy parades with nudity in front of a bunch of kids, you're probably as distraught and disgusted as I am. I'm very disgusted about the things that are happening in our country. And I'm very enlightened and encouraged by the things that are happening in our country. I had something on my Facebook and I, I got it off somebody's page and I can't even remember who had shared it with me. And, and I laughed about it because it says the truth. Treat people as you want to be treated. Do for others as you want to be done unto you. Y'all quit acting crazy. America is going nuts. They're doing stuff out there that we don't want our kids exposed to. We don't want our grandkids exposed to. We don't want any of this junk going on. And I don't know how to stop it except to be born again. Let's start over. Can we both go back 244 years? Today we're going to go back to a very special Saturday night in just a little bit. Last week, Tim came down to Ball Ground and he got some really good footage of the beautiful, beautiful town, city of Ball Ground. It is growing. It is becoming all that it has ever wanted to be. The mayor always wanted a walking community, and it is becoming exactly that. There are so many houses near town, and people can walk, they can go, they can enjoy, they can celebrate, and boy, did they celebrate last Saturday night. And we're going to get a little bit of that footage in just a few minutes. But we also... I have a friend who gave me five pounds of Idalia onions, and I used some of them Saturday night because I cooked and had hamburgers and hot dogs and homemade chili, used some of it in that, made homemade slaw, used some of it in that, but I had a bunch of onions left over. And I kept sitting there and I kept thinking, what can I do with these onions? Well, of course, I made onion rings, and I'm gonna show you my very, very simple recipe. We used this at the iron skillet for years and everybody loved my onion rings. They're very light, they're very crispy, they're not heavy and doughy. They're just, uh, they're so good. But you start with whole buttermilk and you slice your onions and we're gonna share that with you in just a minute. We're also gonna share something else. We're gonna be celebrating today, but it was too hot to cook. I didn't want to cook. And I did something I'm gonna advise all of y'all to do. Over the holidays, don't stress yourself out doing all the cooking. Pick up the phone and call and say, Deborah, make potato salad. Call and say, Vicki, make coleslaw. Call and say, Dawn, make the hamburger patties. Call and tell Ansley, make the hot dogs. Tell everybody to bring one item, and then it makes your holiday more fun for you. You've still got to get your house cleaned up. You've still got to have drinks to offer for them. You still have to make everything beautiful and presentable. But it takes the stress off the food prep. And if you have somebody around who loves to grill, just get the patties out, go ahead and have them in the freezer ready to go, and then let Honey Baby throw them on the grill. And it makes life so much simpler. Let's keep it simple and keep it fun. And I hope that that's what you're going to be doing over the holiday. I hope you're not going to be stressed. I saw a little bit of driving today with the traffic going up toward Blue Ridge. The coolest thing is keep your mind intact and watch your driving because it's not you you gotta worry about, it's the other nuts on the road. So be careful. Because today a guy came around me and I kinda wish I'd written down the name of the company he was driving for because he was flying and he was passing several of us in two different lanes and I'm thinking, Bubba, there's nothing you got to do that is that important to get there that fast. So slow down, enjoy the view, and welcome to these beautiful mountains. We hope that you will stay and visit, and we hope that you will learn a little bit about these mountains that we serve and where we are preserving the past and embracing the future. From Ball Ground to Turtle Town, each, each of the towns that we serve is growing and, and changing just a little bit, but becoming all that they were intended to be. 
with good development and good planning and good folks moving in. So if you're new, welcome to Ball Ground, welcome to LJ, welcome to Turtle Town, welcome to all the towns we serve. Get out and enjoy and get to know the nice folks. Now I'm gonna share a recipe. Every week I do one in the Pickens County Progress and um, I had chosen the pizza that we did last week, the red, white, and blue pizza. It's gonna be in the progress this week. But last night, I just had to make my onion rings super, super simple. Whole buttermilk, you dredge them in the buttermilk and then you roll them in the flour. I put them in a Ziploc bag, shake them up and you throw them in hot, hot Crisco and oh my gosh. So we're gonna share that, we're gonna share a photo of a very special young man in memory of Noah Harris, as we celebrate our Independence Day, we shall also remember every single soldier who served, every single soldier who gave his life, every single soldier who is, who is in battle today in one way or the other. So many of them have come home and had all kinds of problems because of things they saw on the battlefield. I was coming up the road today and there was this Vietnam vet and he was very, very proud of his service and I saluted him as I went by. I was like, wow. On his car, he had U.S. Army vet. On his gas tank, he had Vietnam vet. On the other side of his car, he said U.S. Army number one. He was so proud of his service, and we should be proud of everybody's service. If you have a son, if you have a daughter who is serving our country today, we need to say thank you to you every single day because without them, we would not be an independent America. We are still independent, and I hope they don't take that from us. It's been looking kind of crazy lately. So let's go to these photos, and um, we're gonna, gonna show you a few photos, and then we're gonna show you the onion rings. So simple, so simple and so good. And I love to buy whole buttermilk. It's not easy to find. You have to kind of look around for it. It takes me usually two or three stores before I find it, but I found it actually at Ingalls last week and it makes amazing onion rings. So here we go. Hey y'all, you know what by there your onions means? It means it is time to make onion rings. Growing up in Atlanta near the varsity, I love onion rings. Of course, I came up with my own little recipe, and I'm doing, I get them in buttermilk. When I had my restaurant, I did this for years. Very, very simple, very easy. Roll them in the buttermilk. Dip them in your flour, a little salt, a little pepper. Now, does that not look yummy? And nothing is better than a barbell of onion. So, Get these tools and keep them by there. You go pick up the phone and call one of your local lions and buy some by there. You're they are looking good, and I can assure you they are going to be yummy, very short. Yum, yum. That's all I can say. Yum. Very light, very crispy, very, very easy. And all you need is whole buttermilk. Well, you know how marriage goes, and sometimes people give up, and sometimes people don't do what they should, and sometimes people just act crazy. Well. I know a couple who didn't act crazy and stuck it out through thick and thin and everything else. 45 year anniversary for Steve and Sherita Jones. Happy, happy anniversary to you two who happen to have a daughter named Sally Ann who can sing like a bird and, and just such an amazing family. And boy, did they have good chicken tenders and good old tater logs up there at the McKaysville store. Wow, wow. I hope that you have something special planned this weekend. I hope that you have something that you will be doing that will include your family. I hope that you will do one thing that I'm gonna ask everybody to do. Please do not drink and drive. We know about an accident that happened the 4th of July weekend many years ago in Blue Ridge and it was because a, a teenager actually under the age was drinking and driving and hit a car with a family in it and um, sadly killed a couple of them. And we know that drinking and driving is one of those things that changes a family forever. If you're partying, if you're at the lake, if you're having a great time with your family, if you drink, that's your business. If you drink and drive, that makes it everybody's business. So please do not do that. Now, I told you we had a celebration for today. It is a celebration for my health because yesterday 
when we looked under my bandage, the skin graft is taking. It is doing super, super good now. The infection is gone. Do you know how amazing that is, y'all? You didn't get to see the graphic pictures. You didn't get to see how horrible it was. But last night, I did some research, and we are going to do a special about how it started, how long I kept asking about it, and then what happened and, and what really went down. And when you see, um, you'll have to be 18 years old to even see these because I did do the research on YouTube and I said, you know, we can't show this to everybody. It is, it is graphic, but it is also a wake up call to every single person. If you, you know your body better than anybody's. If you look at your body and you see something that's changing and you think, you know, that just doesn't feel right. That doesn't seem right. That, I don't know about that. And the doctor says, oh, just put it aside. It's just a this. It's just, no, you might get a second opinion. I wish I'd gotten a second opinion. I probably wouldn't have had to go on as far as I did with the surgeries, but that's okay because it's all come together and it is healing. The skin graft is taking now. And it, I was like blown away yesterday. I was like, oh my gosh, when are they gonna sew it up? And she said, we're not gonna have to sew it up. It's gonna close itself up. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So we're celebrating today. And we're celebrating and I told everybody to bring a little something we could eat, but it was real simple to do. And you'll see how simply we made it. We're gonna go to some music now by one of our favorites and one of your favorites. Y'all love Mr. Ella J. And, we talked the other night, and he's, I got this going, I got that going, I've got this almost done, I'm, I'm working on this, I'm doing it. You talk about an old man in retirement who is super, super busy. He is super, super busy, and he is loving every minute of it. He'll be back, and he said, when I come back, and I said, okay, get it ready and come back. So we're going to be sharing some of his music with you, and then when we come back, we're going to have a few guests here who are going to enjoy some food. And I said, everybody bring something different, and we'll have a little celebration. Today is a day of celebration. We'll be back shortly. How y'all doing out there? Welcome to Ella J. That's with a J. About 90 miles north of Atlanta, where the Kusawati lay. They come out of the hills to pay their telephone bills in a town called Ella J. When the mayor drove a shiny 62 Corvette Slim was in a cruiser with a Cobra jet What you see is exactly what you get If you come to Ella J Hey, Ella J A mighty fine place to be
Evangelho. Promised a celebration, and we can't celebrate without my favorite little baby girl. And so we're celebrating with baby Zanna. And I told everybody, everybody bring one item, and we will have a meal. So Ansley, would you bring your contribution to the meal? <laughs> and we will say for somebody who's on a keto-friendly diet, you brought one thing that probably is not keto-friendly. It's cheesy breadsticks, <laughs> but these look amazing. Amazing. And then we have marinara sauce. Can we dip one in it and see if Xana likes it? <gasps> I think she does. This is the easiest way to do the 4th of July. Now, did somebody bring pizza? Is somebody bringing pizza? Oh, Trace, you brought my brought favorite. Pizza. You brought my favorite pizza. And this is warm and hot and bubbly. And did you bake this? No. <laughs> I did not. We're going to tell them the secret in a minute. <laughs> We're going to tell them the secret. But we got a meat a meat pizza for the guys. But then I heard there's a rumor that there's a veggie pizza hiding. And then Tim is bringing me something that I love. And I've been trying to eat healthy, really, really eat healthy. And Tim brought a salad. So if everybody brings a little something, then all of a sudden we're going to be celebrating. And you know what, you know what it means to me? 
I had to do nothing except sit here and hold the baby, which is pretty cool. Now, I think that Erin has my favorite thing because I love barbecue wings. Now, I don't know how many he prepared, but I could probably eat them all, and then it would be bad because nobody else would get one. But Erin, tell me what you have. Oh, you got wings and dipping sauce. And y'all, look at these wings. Look, 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 look. How cool is that? You can cook or you can do the magic of television like we did. And basically, Ansley went and picked up an order for us at one of our favorite places. Our whole crew loves Pizza King. We love a lot of the restaurants in L.J., but Pizza King suits us all. Salad, cheesy breadsticks, two different pizzas, and wings. What a bargain, $41. Now, guys, I'm gonna take one of the pieces of pizza. you're going to get a piece of pizza. Yeah. I could not have <laughs> cooked this stuff and done it buying into the grocery store for $41. I would have been stressed to the max. And the guys would have had to wait for it to be done. But this way, you pick up the phone and you do like I did. You call Pizza King, you get it ready. And then you tell the guys, put it in bowls, make it pretty, and let's serve it. And that's what we're doing. And Zanna is loving. She's eating bite, 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 bites. She likes meat, too. Her mom is a vegetarian, so don't tell her that I just gave Zanna a bite of, of beef. Shh, don't, don't say a word. Don't tell mommy, okay? Don't tell mommy nanny will get spanked. Uh-oh, we spit it out. <laughs> Uh-oh, we spit it out. Well, today is a day of celebrating, and we're going to celebrate with you. We're going to show you the footage from Ball Ground this weekend. We had an amazing event in Ball Ground. As always, Ball Ground does the best fireworks, and they truly did. This year, they went over the top. And we want to share a couple of minutes, and this is truly welcome to Ball Ground. And every year, Ball Ground opens their doors, and people come from everywhere. They started getting in spots that they wanted to sit at at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So it was really cool to open the doors and have everybody say, Hey, are you going to Ball Ground? Yeah, a lot of you came to Ball Ground. Here we go. y'all think about your little trip to ball ground i think it was pretty awesome i think that we should all plan something fun interesting easy make it easy on yourself and i have a saying if i can find it i hid it from myself i've been facing some crazy stuff lately and i was thinking am i going to make it through this am i going to survive what's going to happen well i still have to have a pet scan i'm a little bit worried a little bit concerned but not much because god is in control Stay strong. One day you will be able to look back and say, I made it. For each and every person who has battled cancer, for each and every person who has battled heartache, for each and every person who has battled loss of a loved one, I can tell you we are going to make it. We are going to make it. Look at that precious baby. Oh, she's going to eat an olive, Mommy. 
Do you think she'll eat an olive? I don't know. Look at that. Look at that sweet face. Oh, my gosh. This is like a million-dollar face. This is a nanny's million-dollar face. You want another bite? Hmm? Oh, I know what you like. You like the meat, don't you? Oh, yum. Yummy, 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 yummy. I am so happy that Zanna came to visit today. Zanna is our reason for celebrating. We are so thankful. This baby is healthy, happy, and wholesome. Loves farming, loves animals, loves eating, loves watching her mommy in the kitchen. She is just the sweetest thing, and we're about to celebrate her one-year birthday. And that's going to be really, really exciting. So she has been healthy, she has been happy, and she is certainly loved. So thank you for being a part of that by commenting on all the things that we've done with her. And I can tell you, one of the things that had tons and tons of hits on YouTube was Zanna out with the goats because she loves the goats and the goats love her. So it was really, really cool. We're going to take you back to some of Mr. Ella J's music. You know, behind me sits his flag from his daddy. Um, if you are a veteran and you served our country, if you are part of the reason I am free today, I salute you and I thank you. And I'm so honored that you chose to do what you did to make my life better and to make this child's life better. And we talk about it all the time. Uh-oh. When we're dead and gone, somebody's going to have to take over. Uh-oh. Are you good? Are you good? You want another one? Oh, Mommy, she's eating ground beef. Don't spank me. Okay. <laughs> all right, y'all. We're going to go now back to some music by Dwight Sanford. Um, much of his music talks about the area that we serve. Much of his music celebrates the life of many of you. And today we celebrate each of you. Get out, make your plans, invite your friends, invite your family, but make it simple, make it fun. Here we go, back to some music. Every time I do a deed I should
I hope you're feeling happy Cause I'm sure feeling blue And I still drive by every morning To see the man I used to be How does it feel to be the brand new And I can't believe that's where I used to live And Lord, I wonder how she feels Knowing it's my love that she gives How does it feel to be the brand new Mr. Me? made her turn to you But I still drive by every morning To see the man I used to be How does it feel to be the brand new Mr. Me? Up above And I can't believe That's where I Used to live And Lord I wonder How she feels Knowing it's my love That she gives How does it feel To be the brand new Mr. Me Don't. 
sou Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella J, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing in Ballground offers creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Hi, I'm Ryan Blaney, a third-generation race car driver, and we dedicate a lot of our time to going as fast as possible. But when my grandpa was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, it was a very unexpected bump in the road for us. It's important to notice if older family members are acting differently, experiencing problems with their memory, or having trouble with routine tasks. Early detection of Alzheimer's can give your family time to explore support services, make a plan for the future, and access available treatments. If you or your family are noticing changes, it could be Alzheimer's. Talk about seeing a doctor together. Whether you're swimming in the sea, or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Look at this. This is 
precious 11 month old of absolute joy. Zanna Jordan is truly keeps us all going, keeps us all in line, don't you? Yes, you do. Thank you for being with us today for our celebration and celebrate Nanny's good, good health because my arm is healing. Yay! Today is a big celebration. I love you. I love you. Okay, we're going to go back to the fireworks. We want y'all to enjoy every moment of being in ball ground with us, and then I'll be back in just a few minutes. I'll enjoy it. These young men wrote this song probably about what three and a half years ago? Woo! About four years ago. It's the most requested song we do, folks. I hope y'all enjoy it. It's uh, it's one that uh, they uh, have perfected over the years to do. It's not gospel now, but you'll if you'll indulge us just a little bit, we'd like to do it tonight. Hadn't it been a good night to be here? I'm telling you, folks, we enjoy it. Really have. We want to say thank you for coming out. Tell your friends about this. Support Randall and the fine folks here at the depot. They really do a good job with this. Okay, folks, it's the dollar store. Of those sweet Barker Brothers, and you can see the Barker Brothers on July the 1st at Mountain Crossings 12471 Gainesville Highway in Blairsville, Georgia, 
4 to 6 p.m. So get out, support this family, support their music. Nothing makes you feel better than a little bit of bluegrass. And all the way up here today, I was listening to Barry Scott and Second Wind and just, it just, it's feel good music. Get out and do something that makes you feel good. I'll tell you what made my crew feel good today, Tim. What do you think about Pete's King? We love Pete's King. We love Pete's King. We love the idea that we can support a local business. If you can this weekend, you know, if you want to cook, if you want to stress, if you want to sweat, if you want to do all that, that's your business. But if you want to make it simple, I have a sign that says, <coughs> the way to a woman's heart, the doors of a restaurant. And yes, we do like to eat out, but if you want to keep it simple, you can call and order some family specials. Many of our restaurants offer things that can get you out of the kitchen faster and it can make your visit with your friends so much easier. And how much easier could it be to have Xana just appear when we needed her to appear and to disappear when it was time to disappear? She's gone to feed the puppies and this kid loves animals. We are so blessed to have this healthy, happy child in our life. Last night I was watching something and it was about the St. Jude's Foundation. If you are lucky enough to have a healthy child, if you are fortunate enough to have the money to make a donation to St. Jude's, please do that. Do you know how many lives they have saved children who are battling cancer? If you're blessed with a happy, healthy child and you have a little bit of money, I don't think of, I can't think of anything any better than to give to St. Jude's because they are continuing to do research and when you think about the research, one of the children that I watched the special on last night was diagnosed at about just under two years old, and she only made it to nine years old. But during that time, they extended her life because they thought it was going to be very short. So if you can make a difference, if you have the money, if you have the ability, if you can change a life, please do that. When I look at Zanna, I just have to say thank you, Jesus, for this healthy, amazing child. She loves to eat. You can kind of tell that by looking at those sweet little chunky fat legs. But when she starts walking, those little legs will turn to skinny bones because she will be running. She does everything in full gear. She is a full gear baby. Yesterday, she took two of her two steps, just two steps, and Ansley was like, oh my gosh, she's going to walk. She's going to walk. She will when she gets ready. Let's celebrate the children of America today. Let's make America a great place to raise children. Protect your children. Teach your children the Bible at home. Teach your children family values. Do what we did when we founded America. 244 years ago, our nation was founded on the belief in God. We have got to get back to celebrating Him and to celebrating what He brings to our home, to our families, to our lives. And to each and every one of you, as you're traveling this weekend, please be safe. We know that there will be drinking going on. We know that there will be people on the road that are intoxicated. Whether it be drugs or alcohol, it could change somebody's life forever. So please be, be aware of your surroundings. Be very cautious. And you know, one of the things that we don't ever talk about, we're celebrating the 4th of July, and we have two major lakes, and well, three major lakes in our area. There will be a lot of people on the lakes boating. Be cautious as you're boating. If you're drinking and boating, that's also against the law. So please take care of yourself, take care of your family, and celebrate our wonderful United States of America. God bless America. I will see you again soon, only on ETC.